What's up guys? It's been a long time. It's a chilly November day now and today's video is going to be all about restoring this old hatchet head. I found this a few months ago inside my grandma's garage on my grandpa's old workbench. Probably been lying there for 20 years. Really cool piece. Kind of looks like it's been hand hammered a little bit here and there. It just needs some touching up. Nothing too major. It's got a little nick missing right here but other than that it's going to be an easy job. So Let's get started. Before we get started on the super funerific B-roll shots, just want to introduce you to my new tool here. My grandma recently passed away and this is one of my grandpa's old tools that's been in the workshop since he passed away in 1997. Pretty much been untouched since then. You know, I've been eyeing it since I was a little kid. I always loved tools like this. I think it's roughly between 1950 and 1955 Craftsman uh, drill press. I think it's a one and a half horsepower GE electric motor. Things a beast. Kind of scary. Definitely don't want to wear loose clothing around. It'll probably rip my arm off. But that was a really nice job. I got a few sanding drums with it and everything. And that's what we're going to use today to do this, as well as the wire wheel brush down here. But yeah. Love this thing to death. Well, I mean, it'll probably outlive me and I'll hand it on to somebody. I don't know if I'm gonna have kids, but we'll see. So, let's get started. one of the faces done now and looking at the side here it's got a lot of character here I don't know if it was actually like hand hammered or this is just like hammer marks from somebody like hammering the hatchet into wood or something but I think I'm just gonna leave all these here and not use the sanding drum and just use this uh, flap disc here and just get all the rust off I like the character on it got a couple problems here got a pretty big nick if I try to sand that out, it's really going to unbalance the whole thing, so I'll probably just leave that there. Uh, what else? There's a crack in here somewhere. It's a small one. Probably can't see it. It's right there where my fingernail is. Just a tiny smidge of metal that might come off eventually. But yeah, this is coming along pretty good. Sanding drum works really good, and the flap disc really worked awesome to clean up anything I missed. Get in the pits that I might have missed. I wasn't gonna go too wild. There is some pitting still left on it. I don't wanna sand like half the hatch it had away. So it is what it is, but it looks really pretty so far. Here's the other side in comparison, you know, dingy, rusty, ugly still. So coming along here, yeah. Let's get back to that B-roll. <laughs> about the background noise I have my propane heater and my fan running I mean it's only like in the high 30s right now it's not crazy cold but I wanted to be at least comfortable when I was making this video so it'll be a little bit of a hiss in the background in the audio but so here we are it's pretty much done definitely not perfect not what I wanted I didn't want perfection I wanted to still look like it was used before I just wanted to clean it up shine it up get most of the rust off smooth out couple things here and there but definitely leave these little hammery marks here if you can see them if you focus yeah all that right there 
yeah, it's definitely really rough down here. You can tell either this thing was super mangled when somebody was using it or it's handmade. It's completely like not straight right here and here. Probably can't see that on camera, but I love it. And now we're gonna fit this to the handle, of course. And the handle I bought, the closest one I could find was this one. We're gonna have to do a little bit of work on it. Trim off probably a good, almost half an inch off of this thing and taper this up so it looks nice. Of course, we're gonna use the drum sander for that. And let's get started. took a lot longer than I thought it would. I had to trim off about an inch off of this and remove probably a finger's width worth of material off of here just to get it to fit sort of good. Let me get the axe out and show you what I mean here. It's not perfect, but I like it. I beveled this down a little bit. I'll probably just get rid of this whole ugly finish on here and just put uh, linseed oil on it. So for now, I'm just gonna put the wedge in here. Hopefully I can even get that in there. It's gonna be a tight fit. Oh, come on, focus little girl there. Nope, no focus. Okay, yep, let's put the wedge in. <laughs> about done just got to put some linseed oil on the handle and the blade and we are all set to go as you can see the last clip I sharpened the heck out of this it's a really nice blade here probably some really high carbon steel really holds an edge well I'm really excited to actually use this on a tree I might go get something out of the woods real quick and show you guys how sharp it is we'll see it's dark out already and kind of cold but let's put a little bit of linseed oil on her for some protection happy how this turned out. Just had to buy the handle and the wedge. So I have about, I think $15 in this project. Of course I got the hatch ad for free. I had an old, a Craftsman hatchet before that I bought from Sears probably like five years ago and that was a piece of junk. I mean, everything today is a piece of junk compared to stuff like this. I think it was even like stainless steel and not like high carbon steel for the blade so it, it dulled very fast and when you struck the wood it kind of bounced off. I know with the older stuff it's really quality. You kind of chunk the wood once you hit it instead of the bouncing effect. So that's what I'm really looking forward to the hatchet. I actually use it for wood for my fire pit outside. And yeah, well, we are done on that butte. Mm-mm-mm. Bringing an old tool back to life, nothing like it. I know there's other restoration videos and everything out there where they, they would take this and completely destroy all the character on it and smooth all this out, but I really love how this looks. It just looks like it was used, and I love that. So, with that being said, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you want to stay in the know for all my future uploads, Make sure you turn on that notification bell and make sure you set the notifications on always. And I hope to see you guys next video.
Greg Bear out. <laughs>